Okay guys, as you see here, we have uh, a lot of bees here right now. And they're filling up some of these frames and some I will rearrange if needed. So let's get in and do the yeah. treatment. We're going to get the smoker ready because there's a lot of bees. There'll be more coming. Well, as you notice, they're starting to bring in honey. See? Take a look here. They're filling in the inner frames, which is the middle frames here. And then I have their plastic frames. So they're adding a lot of cone to them when needed. So let's go ahead and open this up and start treating and look at some frames. They have drone, drone eggs. No mites on that. Look at that, no mites so far. Well, let's take the old treating out and in with the new. This hive, we don't need to go in it. We know they're laying. They got drones. They're getting drones ready. They're getting crowded in here. And we're going to go ahead and look at some frames and see what they've done. You see, this is what I'm saying. I, I got old frames. They're already breaking. So I can't go in that one.
like to go in this high, but it's gonna be a little tough. I'm gonna replace this one. They can have the honey here if they want it. They're already storing honey, but I'm gonna change this frame. Real busy here and real smoky over here. So here we go. Let's go open these up. We're looking for some swarms. Any signs of it, we're gonna go ahead and go in here. Now I gotta speed it up a little bit. They're starting to bring in nectar. Okay, so that's the sign of nectar. Let's go in the next one and see what we got here. We're looking for some, they're making anything like more, like a new queen, as you know. Looks good here. Honey flow is starting to come in. laying We have some drones in here. There was a lot of brood here, as you know. They and there's she's laying over here. I bet you the queen's here somewhere. But I'm gonna keep moving. This hive is moving and thriving. I'm gonna move back. So we're looking for any indication of more swarming. You gotta be careful. more drones coming in. We're gonna check this one now. Oh, uh, look at this. A lot of brood, more bees to be born. Look at that. 
good frame, good laying queen. I got a cup right there and some drone, some drones being put together. I don't see any, any queens here. So we're gonna get it on this side. Turn back the way it was, which is this way. And we gotta keep going. signs of a new queen here, which is good. Now let's go ahead and put this back. And they don't like it. And I'll get that frame and replace it with another frame. And I'm going to check aboard this. This in here, and they'll clean it out. And we gotta put another one in here. Got more, see another one with cone on it. Let's we'll squeeze that in here. Now, if you notice, when I prepared earlier this season, and now we're here, and it is now honey, honey season. So be careful with your tool because it will go wrong. And let's get this in here. Always want to have extra frames, you never know when you're gonna. I have a problem right now. You gotta tighten them really tight. How that tight that is. Now we're gonna feed them.
Now we're going to put back the other side. Put our scooter back. Oh, we didn't put the. Oh, yeah, we're gonna put our scooter here. Mm -hmm. We're really ready for, probably ready for honey flow in a good way. Uh, this thing is bending a little bit. Make sure that you got this even because you don't want the queen to come up. Okay, we got that. Good there. This one's ready for the honey flow. We double check to make sure that we don't have any queens. The other box here was a lot of honey. A lot of the brood's on the bottom and the honey's on the top and they're bringing honey up here eventually. That's it with this one, be right back. Okay guys, I think the last video I didn't record it it was a great video with a lot of, a lot of brood, a lot of stuff, but let's, let's move on. Cameraing is not easy, so oh well here we are. So we're gonna go to this hive and treat. We treated that one. I think you've seen that video already. This one was a good video, but we didn't get it, it wasn't recording. So we're gonna open up this one here, treat and feed, and see what we got, and see make make sure that we don't have any uh queens being made. And it's still swarm season, it just started. Uh in some places, uh on the neck of the uh, some, some, I'm sorry I'm a little thirsty how of words, but let's just move on and take a look at this house. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's open up this one and see what we got. Don't forget, we have a, a deep and a medium. So the excluder's here. Uh, and that's how I set up commercially. Deep, medium, excluder, and then I start, oh, and then I start adding more. The bees don't like when I start swinging my hands. So they're gonna be a little aggressive here, so let's uh, bear with me. not driving at all.
Look at this one here. It has no bees. Now I treated it for Pro. It's it's down there. And look at the results of that. You know, it probably killed the queen. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna have to look in it. There's no bees in here. It's really light in bees. I mean there is some, but it doesn't look good here. So uh, let's go ahead and go into these mediums. The former pro, I don't like it. Look what it does to a hive. It'll kill a queen. I don't know if she's killed, but you know, it doesn't look good. start from this end here. Oh, oh mess. What happens? Former Pro. That former Pro, I don't like it. I think it's terrible. It doesn't really do justice to hive. I, I've lost a lot of bees. A lot of queens with former Pro, and that's what I think. It's not the best treatment. Man. That's my opinion. It's been bothering me and hurting me. That's what I think. So, you know, when we... Goes, one who gets involved in should know it, and that's what I'm going through. Formic Pro, I don't like it. It just hurt my hives. And I had a good queen in here. Brand new queen. From last year. Look what it did to my, look at this. Now, they're queenless. We're going to have to help them out. want to check before honey flow because you want to make sure you got the right stuff going on and if you don't you'll know We have some queen laying to look so we have a queen in here but uh, that formic pro really really made things a little harder to deal with and i'm glad that she's still here because that would be terrible that's why you check your hives more than once well let's go ahead and that one uh, no. oh more open All I gotta do is gotta check these hives. No, oh, we got a queen laying here. I can't find her. But she's here somewhere. So you know they're not gonna they're not gonna a swarm here at all so we're uh, gonna have to just let it do what it's gonna do and I'm pretty much gonna feed this hive and, uh, and that's pretty much it so it looks like let's get the middle cluster here things happen Okay, we got a queen laying here, so that's a good thing, good sign. Still have a queen. Real cold up here, you know, it's real cold up here. So, not real cold, but it's been cold. We have the, you know, the river by us, so it's a little different in how they deal here than inland. And inland is a little more faster, it's warmer. Out here, they're still working on this hive, so at least we got a queen laying. That's a good thing. Uh, it's a real plus, so she's here. And, 
Let's go to this one. Well, as you know, that's what we have, so nothing too much on this hive to do. It's what it is, so it's still growing, and maybe this hive will pick up speed, and maybe it won't. So let's go ahead and move all this over. Move this over. Okay, let's get the other frame in. So you never know until you check your hives what's really going on. Because you might think one thing's happening and something else is really going different than you thought. So pay attention to your hives and go in them. You need to go in your hives. And you have to have a reason why you're going in. Because if you don't, if you don't go in for the right reason, then things can really go wrong. You can kill your queen and this hive will have to grow. It won't be a good honey production hive. And I don't know if this is still going to be a good honey production hive because it didn't. These are empty. They're all up here. They're not down here. It's too cold for them up down here. I think. I don't know. Bees do what they like to do. So I guess I'm going to have to uh, feed them and treat them. This should get them going. More protein, more food for them to build this up a little quicker. So that's enough patty there. No, I'll put two in here. You gotta keep treating them. So let's go get that. This has honey in it. Well, that's good they're bringing honey in, but uh, let's see. to check your bottom boards for mites oh, I gotta look in here there's little mites in there there's some mites I just treated them again
how that goes. So, I bring it in, honey. It's a small hive, but that's what happened here. Okay, let's move on to the next one here. Okay, next hive. We're going to check and see if there's any signs of swarming, just like we did the rest of them. Uh, we're going to check our frames. This is the last hive for now. It's getting a little later. Get a little late. I'm a little tired. So uh, let's move on. They're bringing in honey. They're on the medium right now. And uh, there's no queen over here. <laughs> and that's it. So we'll put it over here. And we'll put it right there in case they want to come up. And there we have it. Okay. Uh, we're a little spacey here. I might put another frame in here. That's what I'm going to do. Let me go in here. And Put this frame in here. Got it nice and even. Okay, let's pull it up. I think there ought to be a lot of bees.
Make sure the queen's not here. Okay. Well, we have some knights here. Look inside the, uh, the drone. We got the drone lava. Now a cocoon. And you can see there's a lot of mites in here. So we're going to treat this again. And there's more bees. And last time I treated them, there was less bees. But now there's more bees, so there's more mites. A lot of drones are on their way of swarming. We're going to check every frame here. Checkerboard these, but I need enough to put cone everywhere. Now there's a lot of forages still in here, probably. We got mites in here. Look at that. Okay. See the mites? They're there. So uh, we got to treat it again. They're laying here. Look at the leg. Uh, the queen might be here. We got drones in here, as you notice. But the queen's laying, see? 
So we know she's laying. That's a good thing. She's growing. Ooh, laying really good here. Got some pollen. Got the brood. Got fresh brood. Got some fresh lava in there. Cocoons. So this hive is growing. Need to be treated. Looking for cup, uh, queen cups. It'll be real delicate. The sun's going down now, so this is the last hive. I don't want that there. Yeah. So. Mm. Gotta watch these girls. They do what they want to do. There's a lot of forages here now, but I have to go in them. When you're a professional beekeeper, no matter what, you gotta go in them. You have to. There'll be a lot of bees and there's plenty more coming, so you're gonna have to deal with it. It's something part of the trade. You're gonna get hit, you're gonna get stung, you're gonna feel it. This is how it is. So go in them hives and check them because they'll swarm on you. making drones. Put a clean cup over here. Hard to hold this to know and do two things. So a little sorry about that. We ain't taking all that out of here. Oh well they'll have to eat that. You gotta clean up your frames. A thorough check. You gotta look. You gotta look. They don't like it, but you don't want to lose all your honey and your money. If you lose your honey, you'll lose your money. <laughs> so, you know, the sun's going down, so it's about the last hive I'm gonna do. Tomorrow I'll do more. But, uh, 
looks good. Okay guys, welcome back. We're on the last hive. Back and check this one here. This one needs to be treated and feeded before this big honey flow comes in. Now here in Northern California, some places are really not good for bees. Not enough food, you guys. If you're commercial guys coming out here, it ain't that good as you think it is. Not that great. A lot of maintenance out here. Tons of maintenance. If you're coming really far, forget it. You'll have bees everywhere. And I do get them. Swarms, you never know. But this is giving you a thumbs up, guys. Back to here. This is the deal. I'm going to go in this hive here. We're going to do some uh, looking around, uh, see if there's any swarming indication. And uh, we're in honey flow, kind of. It's like the beginning of it. So let's begin. queens some fat bees you know we do look around for mites on them uh sometimes we turn them over we can but it's not easy sometimes but uh we do check for mites on the body of the bee sometimes you gotta get them it's not easy to turn them over but you know you get to turn them over and you get to really look at them but uh that's what you want to do is turn them over sometime in their belly and see if we got any you know, most likely they don't. Uh, no deformed wings, no signs of diseases, they look good here. I can feel the weight of that. A lot of bees in here. Look. Look at all those bees. They're building some cone, some new cone, some white wax. These are, uh, these already had uh, cone in them, but that should be. All right. Here's the top. And uh, they're busy. We have drones in here, so we got to definitely look in here. Okay, let's look inside here and see what we get here. Huh? You don't want to disturb them. Well, the easier you go, the better you are. If you disturb them, they'll fly all over the place. There you go. See that? what it looks like on the other side of the screen here. I want to make sure there's no queen here. Look at that queen cup they are going to make. Look at that. You don't want that to happen. Well, I hope they have a queen in here or they're making a queen. I can use a split. Because I did lose that hive right there. Uh, it got rained out. And that's what happened there. So, so we're going to go ahead and we got drones in here. So they're looking to do something. And there's a lot of drones in here. Let's go ahead and uh, 
shake them off here. That's the extruder. Okay, let's go ahead and go in this one, huh? Here we go. Let's go from the inner one out. We'll go from the inner one. I hope this doesn't break. We go real easy with it. I don't want to break these frames because they're old. They're still tidy though. They're still good. Gotta go slow. It's gonna break their cone. But that's what I gotta do. Sometimes you'll get doubles of them. You'll get two to stick together. And you got to figure that out. Go out real slow, because they are building cone. You don't want to hurt them. There we go. And they're building here, see? So they're going to build, what they do is they get together. I forgot the proper name. You know, I'm still learning things always. They're going to go ahead and stick together, and they'll make the cone, which I don't want to mess that up. So I'm going to put this over here. Yeah. Uh, I want to make sure there's no queen on here. Let's do that first. <laughs> so, that's what they're doing there. So, they're working on this frame. What they're doing. So, we'll move this over here. Get away from the snake. Put it on the side for here. We'll move on to the next one. Oh, I got these boards in here. You know, now I think about it, I'm going to take this out of here. This is for the winter time. I'm not going to like this. I need to move it around. So. We'll get this out of here. They're all over me now. <laughs> They don't like me anymore. Take your time with them. Hey, don't forget, your suits that you have on, they're not fireproof. So you don't want to burn your suit. None of this, it'll go right on fire. So be careful with your smoker. All right, let's look in here. Get them away here from the frame. I gotta get another medium frame, I'll get one of those. Not the best, not the best condition. I mean, they're really building these frames out kind of weird. Like, I gotta go in a minute. See how uneven that is? That's what happens. I just look for some queen cups. You definitely don't want to see how it's kind of not the greatest setup, but whatever. It what happens sometimes when you, you got old frames or uh, the way they're trying to form their hive and have drones. And it's, it's a lot of work for them. And sometimes they don't make them too good. Sorry for the noise out here. We'll go ahead and back this up over here. I might even put this back here. Yeah, that's an odd one. Let's go. You know, the food resources are not always as great as you think they are. 
But we are we are in the forest. <laughs> oh, these frames are ugly. That's what they did. I can try to fix these, but it doesn't look like it. So I gotta. Be gentle with them they will jump out to you so i gotta go ahead and look at oh look at this frame here now this is a, a deep and a medium so this is a, look at that is okay, you gotta be careful i don't want them to build anything we don't want to lose our queen Oh, we're gonna go ahead and move this one. We're looking for swarming indications. It's not the greatest frames that they're doing. They kind of got a lumpy, little, little, not too great. But what we're gonna do is what we have. Now you wanna be careful because these frames can break. You gotta break them up nice. your queen for the queen here. You don't want them making any queens, see? And when you go in the house, you gotta know why you're going in them because if you mess things up, they don't like it. You know, it gets them upset. They have to reset things. They're, like we're going in their home. I mean, just imagine someone going in your house and rearranging things. You're not gonna like it. You have a lot of laying going on, which is a good indication they're growing rapidly. the lava for the drones you can see them they're feeding these uh, cocoons a lot of drones in here eating up, eating up a lot of food too put this back We 
I'm using a smoker again. <laughs> So they're building up. Don't forget, it's, still, it's the beginning of the spring right now in California. It's the beginning. Okay, there was no signs up here. I gotta get another frame in here. I'm, not gonna, I'm just gonna move this over. Probably won't like it, but oh well. I gotta move it over. Put it back the way it was because they got the, their frames are kind of like they don't like me over here. Four. Pretty much it. That's it. That's back. The last treatment. If you don't clean this up, it'll clog up. Then they'll start building, you know, they'll think they have no room, and they do have room. So you gotta make room for them. You see how vicious they get with the room. Right, back off for a bit. I'm gonna take this sideboard out too. I'm gonna... I might just leave it. I gotta...
Well, they're building wax here. This frame has a uh, pollen in it, so I'm gonna keep it on the outside as always. Uh, easy to do. Look at that course to do. Oh well. Oh, well. The life of be easy. We still got a Go on these without them. It's gonna be tough, guys. It's a tough one. A lot of bees, and we still got more bees coming. You can imagine what's gonna be like here. Oh, this one's heavier. Go. Lots of bees gonna be born. Take a break, guys. Go ahead and enjoy that. Let's move them out because I can't get to these frames all over the place. Well, there we go. I'll right, get them out of here. Now, let's go through these quick. They start working their way up in here. Now, I gotta go through them real quick. Okay, so there's no signs of there. You want to sometimes go a little quicker, but you don't want to roll your queen. You roll it, you're done. Well, they'll build one, but child, what a mess. You don't want that. Another one, full of brood. Tons of bees are going to come out of here. Look at the brood pattern in that. I hope there's no queen over here, but look at that. Look at that brood pattern. That's a laying queen. That's a good queen. I think they replaced her. Look at that. Beautiful. You can't get better than that. So, that one's good. Oh, they keep coming back. A lot of bees and they're still being born so 
a lot going on here. Oh, there's oh, there's Steve. Oh, they're trying to sting the heck out of it. I definitely broke the hive up, but I have to go look. Okay. Okay, they're keeping the pollen on the outside. So there's no indication of swarming here. We're gonna treat them and feed them here. We're gonna checkerboard this thing. And uh well I gotta try anyway. Back up. Well, it looks like we take a whole hive apart. See what happens? They go wild. They're wild bees, right? And then they get on me also. And then they, they're they calm here. So pretty much we're going to feed them and treat them here. There's nothing else to do here. Uh, we made room for them. We'll make more room for them. But that's the story, guys. This is the inspection. And it's a thorough one. I mean, I'm subtle, but I can't see. My mouth's dry. Sorry. It's a great inspection. <laughs> it's an inspection. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, push this back. Get them out of here. Let's... Take this high, this one, and put it in here. Well, checkerboarding is when you have deeps or mediums, and you're trying to uh, fill some cone on the frames. They didn't do it, so now I'm going to put this where the middle is where they're probably most most likely to do this. But you know, I got to get these bees off of here. Don't want to cook them, you know, so you want to smoke them easy. Get this frame in here. See, my frames are old. See how old they are? Look at that. See, they're falling apart. That happens. treatment and then we're going to feed it that's the work of a professional beekeeper you got to go in and a lot
you know, most some people don't treat and feed at the same time, but this oxalic acid will be okay. So that's enough food for them. They'll even grow more. You want to move them over. It's okay, don't move over. You use your hand for that. It's okay, as long as you don't crush them. Anymore. Brood, it's brood in this medium, as you know. You, you don't want to crush them, you shave it like that, move it around. I'm gonna have another video on uh, other safety measures. We'll have a video on safety measures one day, but not yet.